time and the trouble Just leave me trapped in the maze I'll live and die in this bubble But I'll never give in to your torture Never considered it futile To carry the weight of your pain A gift conceived by angels Dark blessings offered in vain Just 
just begun We walk beneath the sun We lie beneath the stars We grow upon the air And this is what we are It didn't have to be this way But this is what we are Most of them probably walk through these halls every day, never telling anybody the truth about what they really want or need or believe. Because people like you, normal people like you, have been terrified of being who they are. I mean, if you're normal, what does that make them? My name is Caitlin Brown. I am 17 years old and I'm a senior in high school. Since I was five, I attended St. Clair's All Girl Private School. But when my dad's job moved us east, I started to attend a public school for the first time in my life. As soon as I started high school, the other students started making jokes about how I look and dress. No matter how hard I tried to make things better, people just hated me more and more. And after six months of this nonstop torture and crying myself to sleep, I just couldn't take it anymore. My name is Caitlin Brown. I'm 17 years old, and I took my own life yesterday because of high school bullying details in the case of two Florida girls accused of bullying a classmate so viciously that police say she committed suicide. believe there's been another tragic deadly case of cyberbullying. A 15 year old girl committed We are suicide. saddened to report to you tonight that the Hatchby teen Seth Funeral Warren arrangements are set for the 14 year old who committed suicide in front of life other students near Benyon Junior High School in Taylorsville. School breaking news out of Polk County Monday. this noon, Sheriff Brady Judge just revealing shocking bullying. new details so about the bullying he says drove a middle school girl to take her own life. And now a heartbreaking case to bring to you tonight, and it is something a parent should never Police in Western Massachusetts are investigating a mother found her 10 year old daughter who committed suicide all because she was being bullied. The medical examiner's play. office has confirmed a body found in the Harlem River is that of a tragic story at Long Clemente. Island Door, where a popular but troubled teenager committed suicide last week. The question Washington now, Bridge did cruel after comments after directed at her online contribute to her death? 11-year-old Selene Oakland was found dead in her own bedroom in Port St. Lucie. 
She had hanged herself in the closet with she a belt being her bullied neck, sometimes and her to death. Her there it is a story night. you see in nearly every headline today, but sadly, it's a story we were covering as long as 18 years ago, right here on 2020. And yet, there's certainly nothing old about this problem. In fact, it seems the passage of time has only made bullying worse. Listen to this 160,000 kids a day miss school because they're too afraid to go. But it only takes one child lost to destroy a family. David and Dina Long adored their 17-year-old son, Tyler. Tyler had Asperger's syndrome, a form of autism, which mom says gave him a unique personality. And what, what did that mean in terms of his daily life in school? What would the kids say? What would they do? He would point out the rules to him quite a bit. Asperger's kids are very rule-oriented. They like uh, things the same every day. And so if someone was talking in class, uh, I know that he would say, you know, we're not supposed to be talking. That's the rule. And, you know, I think that just irritated a lot of them. They saw him as something different than what they were. They would take his things from him, spit his food, call him gay, faggot. And just from one day to the next, it was continuous harassment from the other kids in the classroom. The Long say this was a constant, well-known pattern of bullying that they brought to the school's attention, but nothing happened. They say this went on for years, and eventually their fun-loving son disappeared. They had taken something. They had took his pride from him. On October 17th, two months into his junior year, Tyler Long changed out of his pajamas into his favorite t-shirt and jeans, strapped a belt around his neck, and hanged himself from the top shelf in his bedroom closet. So I stepped into the room, and I found Tyler in the closet. At that point, I rushed over here, picked Tyler up, tried to move pressure off his neck. And he starts screaming for Tina. I couldn't get the bell off his neck. Troy brought me a knife and I cut the bell off his neck. Laying down. <laughs> we checked him. He was still alive. But it was too late. Funeral services will be held today for a Texas student teenager committed suicide who committed here suicide. in the bathroom. Apparently Sources after being tell Fox 2 that that classmates. student used a 40 caliber handgun and shot himself in the head in the bathroom. We were able to speak with a student. Here's what he had to say about what happened. It's really sad because a lot of kids knew him and they never thought he would, he would do something like that. We all believe that he was bullied.